All right, what is up, guys? As always, welcome back to another OU game versus a Mono Fairy team, which looks very solid. Actually, it also pretty much says nay to anything I could in theory do versus everything. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, Osma look really good on paper. Really struggles versus Assumeril to an extent, and don't enjoy Klefki. Um, Hyper Cruise actually looks really good. Um, I'm gonna lead off with that. As a, he could start off with Klefki, which in theory is not the worst. If it's lead off with Grim Snarl, then I'm just going to boom burst straight on at it. Uh, but everything else, I, I'm i not that worried. Magirna is kinda nasty though. If it is a stall power Magirna, I believe I'll lose by default actually. Then again, most people do that. Leads off with Klefki, so I think that's fair. Um, the thing is, I don't want to risk. It makes no sense for him just being a screener. Um, so if it settles like light screen and um, or just spikes, I can always defog that away. So that's going to be my goal. He could have just dazzling lean, which is neutral, good move. And also have fair lock, which is annoying. Let's see, spice. Good. That's me that means we should have attacked actually. Now he did not have a ground type, which works for me. It also means that Tabubulu is a natural switching. If I were him, I'm probably looking for Bulu. Reflect. Alright, alright, so I get a full powered hit here. Um, gonna defog here. I think it's gonna go for light screen. Yeah. So choose your poison. I guess one could say. Hey, what happened to my terrain? <laughs> I killed my own terrain, what the hell? Right, spikes. I mean, he's gonna keep anything, that makes most sense. I probably don't kill him now. Damn it, I did. <laughs> I was like, no! Did not want that. Because if something is annoying, I would say the residuals I get are annoying. Prosto. Right, grassy surge. So, you know, I've been leveling, you know, what are switches to this? This guy gets two things I don't like. Um, for me, the one that stands out the most is uh, close combat and wood hammer. So, I'm gonna set in Voshkal. Basically, he could Stone Edge, which is neutral, but overall, I don't fear the matchup. High horse, but yeah, buddy, buddy, that is, you got the nope, man. You got the nope. Yeah, choice sure, minute, you turn, here we go. You don't want to take this brave bird. I know you don't want to take it. I know you don't. Get the hell out of here. Be the better man. Ha, coward. <laughs> to mimic you. Wait, he's gonna break his own disguise, isn't he? Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. Let's see. He has play rough. Ah. I'm really gonna think about this. Because he outspeed me here. Rainbrun probably could bring it down. Yeah, basically, like, he sacks play this, and I, I'm down for that. He could have a boosted wood hammer, and if so, then that's just my fault. Explode is not gonna be, like, the greatest thing here anyway. And he can always be scared I could be scarfed. Let's find out. Grain Punch. 
Huh. Oof, I was like, that did probably more than I thought it ever would do. Alright, but at least I knock it out. Oh, it's a life orb. I should tell myself that these guys carries and are running Brain Punch. I see it too often. This is like the second time, so not that often, but usually you run Shadow Shadow Claw, Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, Soul Stance, maybe Woodhammer, but I've seen Brain Punch more often than I want to see them. So versus Magirna, I never go into Stain <laughs> because I don't want to give him Soul Heart. I hate Magirna so much for these matchups. But depending on his set, um, he is the stall power set, alright. So I should be worried about shift gear. If I were him, I'd probably switch out here anyway, because it's not... He went for it. He went for it. Let's see, connect to Fire Blast and it will do a fair chunk. Is that weakness policy? That is weakness policy. My man. That is wicked. So, he is now at plus three. We're Fire Blasting again. I'm just glad as long as I don't see shift gear. Or I can always get a crit, you know, I like that. Oh, we get a burn, so we set him on a timer. Because Torpor is neutral. So we're gonna do it like this, second explode, giving him the soul heart, because at this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't fucking matter. Um, let's see. Stole power as fair. <laughs> uh, he, I was probably exploding there. Like the only positive part coming out of this is that he never speeded up, uh, which means that um, he's in theory sacking that Pokemon, isn't he? Um, yeah, seeing Rainbrot. As long as, like, he doesn't have Custa Berry, that's, like, that's great. Um, that said, like, he has switch-ins for this. I also realize, you know, he is still at plus two. Maybe this was a mistake. Looking at the team, was this a mistake? Should have run something physical, shouldn't I? God damn it. I'm U turning. <laughs> I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That was dumb, wasn't it? So, many months. All the months remaining beats Coste, so we're sacking him. That was really dumb of me. I should never have done that. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> Just fucking send in. <sighs> Let's see, what range are we now? You're absolutely in front of range now, but that was unnecessary and dumb. Probably a combination of the two. Because I could easily avoid this. I have no idea what I was thinking. Anyway, fuck it. I'm getting out now, which is great, but yeah, I should not have done that. I should not have done that. 
should just switched in like Saptos close combat. There would be just a force play basically from from there. Prosto comes back. Um, now inherently, like the remaining mods, I gotta kind of watch them. Grim Snarl, and we have a Zoomeril. Both of them don't enjoy Voshkult. And his best play in theory is Stone Edge, no matter what. If I were him, I Stone Edge, for sure. You, you, dude. Dude, that play is so safe for me. And this time I'm Ray Burning. Huh. Like, I'm, I'm no, no means of disrespect, I'm just like, that should have been the play. By the way, this Brave Bird, I, it has to kill, come on, yeah. And that residual damage on me is going to be legendary. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it actually wasn't that bad. Alright, so I am not in range of Aqua yet, unless it's banded. Golden Asu. That's a fantastic nickname. So we're Brave Birding here with all our might. And really, really hope it's enough. Choice Bandit Braver, here we go. Yes! Yes! Voshkult! Knew it! Knew you had it in you. He knew he messed up there. Then again, Saptos really, really did a bit of a number there, didn't it? It was just all about positioning. Um, sucker Punch. Yeah, and it actually could be... It didn't, but it could have been. This Brave Bird is probably not killing him, but it's definitely killing me. Oh my god. Alright! <laughs> That's a wrap. Fucking GG though. That was, ah, that was phenomenal. Well done. Very fast, fast paced. And uh, Nagella, I really want to say this. GG. Very good game. Um, sometimes you just get these golden games. I think Tabu Coco and Bula really was head to head there and what's gonna work. And as long as my Coco was around, there was no way Asuma was gonna win. But the Sumeru in his own right could have won because Kabutan was definitely not doing anything there. Besides being a possible sack play. And, you know, stored power Magerna. Just a shift get away from beating my ass. So, with that said, that's all we got. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You know what you Take care. Ah. <laughs> Bye, everyone.